Use the illegally obtained cryptocurrency to purchase international travel, service at nightclubs, numerous luxury automobiles, watches, jewelry, designer handbags, and to pay for rental homes in LA. Stole $200 million from a crypto scam. Spent millions of dollars on clubs, everything. But this wasn't a high-tech break-in in like the movies. This was social engineering, where manipulation was the key. These hackers didn't need to crack codes. They cracked the mind of their victim, who was blindsided, losing a staggering 243 million in Bitcoin, approximately 4,000 Bitcoins, walking away with generational wealth, flaunting their new riches for everyone. To see. On Instagram, Malone had been boasting months before the heist. He posted captions like, I walk in unannounced, and clothes I can't pronounce, giving a glimpse into his newfound fortune. The heist itself began on the August of 19th. Everything began with something as simple as a phone call, posing as Google support. Hi, this is Alex from Google support. We've detected some suspicious activity on your account and it looks like someone is trying to gain unauthorized access. We want to secure your account immediately to prevent any potential breaches. Using spoofed numbers, they tricked the victim into giving them access into his Gmail account. They then post as Gemini support. This is Chris from Gemini support. We've noticed suspicious activity on your Gemini account and it appears someone may have tried to hack in. We need to reset your two-factor authentication immediately to secure your funds. Oh no, what should I do? Don't worry, we just need to verify your identity and guide you through resetting the 2FA. It's a simple process. We'll send a link to your registered email. Click on it and follow the instructions. This will update your security settings and block the hacker. Within minutes, millions were drained from his Gemini wallet and funneled into the attacker's crypto wallet. But they weren't done yet. Using remote access software like AnyDisk, they took full control of the victim's device, uncovering private keys that even led to some more funds. The trio quickly moved to cover their tracks. They funneled the stolen money through cryptocurrency exchanges to create what they believed was an untraceable ghost trail. Their reckless behavior soon raised many red flags. Neighbors noticed strange activity at the rental home. High-end luxury cars were constantly coming and going. Most of the time it was a lot of party. It was party because I can hear from my house the music and uh, it's a real nice house. It's like a mansion. They hit high-end nightclubs, throwing down absurd Whoa. amounts of cash and flaunting their stolen wealth on Instagram. He was going into clubs and he spent millions of dollars on clubs, everything, he was giving out Birkins. But everything changed when a major breakthrough exposed the entire operation. The crypto investigator and Twitter user Zach XBT dropped a bombshell. An investigation into how Grievies, Malone Ime, Wiz, Veer Chetel, and Box, Gene Deal Serrano, stole $243 million from a single person last month in a highly sophisticated social engineering attack have been made by me and it's time for me to reveal everything. Zach's investigation didn't just reveal details, it laid everything bare. He had streams and even videos documenting every step of the heist, complete with transaction IDs and real-time tracking. Here is a private video recording showing the live reaction by multiple of the threat actors to receiving $238 million. What are you gonna notice? Is that they're all there? You, you, they're all in the screenshot. They're all in the video. You can see them all. Two hundred forty-two million dollars. Yes. Do you know how much money that is? Holy Order of a bill. Probably. Pray, 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 ten for the I'm gonna lose my shit. Yo, how do I? Hold on. His meticulous work showed exactly how the crime unfolded, piece by piece. Wiz's friend Light Slash Dark, AA Cash, helped launder the funds for him using EXCH and Thor Swap. Wait! No, no, here, add the, do this e -thaddy. How do I change the e Head uh, Go to the top right, the settings bar. Settings. <laughs> Dark. Here. No, not that. Like, the, the swap. Swap settings. No. 
Unbelievable. Such a matter. Oh, you're worried about me keeping it? No, I just want. I'm keeping it all in one Addy. As soon as Zach's investigation hit Twitter, law enforcement wasted no time taking notice. They followed the digital footprints that Malone thought were hidden. His use of cryptocurrency mixing services and the lavish lifestyle he flaunted on IG left a trail that couldn't be ignored. In a well-coordinated operation, federal agents closed in, tracking down Malone and his accomplices, setting the stage for the takedown. Now officials revealing they were taking down a multi-million dollar cryptocurrency scam. On an unsuspecting Wednesday night, the FBI, with the assistance of Miami police, raided this waterfront mansion near Miami Shore's spooking neighbors. Arrested 20-year-old Malone Lamb and another 21-year-old in Los Angeles. The duo accused of stealing and laundering over $230 million in cryptocurrency. As a result of the investigation, Box and Grievies were arrested yesterday evening in Miami and LA. So yeah, this is the result of what you get when you try to impress women uh, with your dumb decision to go buy a bunch of Birkin bags, film yourself committing scams. Big shout out to Zach XPT once again. With 230 million stolen and the sophisticated nature of their crime, they could be facing serious lengthy sentences. However, as history has shown, some cyber criminals have managed to slip through the cracks. They're probably going to come out in another 10 years. It's fraud. I don't think they're going to get 20, 30 years for this, but they're relatively young. But $250 million, that's insane. Whether justice will fully catch up to them remains to be seen. They gave out Birkin bags and Lamborghinis like they were party favors. And as if the stolen millions were theirs to even burn. All he had to do was shut up and dip, and he fumbled. They recorded themselves doing this and used the money to try to impress women, which they failed at. If you stole over 200 million from one guy, I think the authorities would be the least of your worries. Uh, because the wire fraud, obviously, they were going to get you on that anyway because you recorded yourself committing fraud and it's on the blockchain, it's forever. But then to spend the money and try to avoid being caught, you've committed additional crimes. Zach's investigative work played a crucial role in cracking one of the largest cryptocurrency thefts of the decade. Zach has promised to provide updates, keeping a close eye on the case until justice is served.